But we're here today to get into the mind of Nicky Rudd. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here. <laughs> I wanted to ask you one thing. When did you start speaking in third person? Oh, you know, I think it's something I that um, Nicky Rudd always did. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like, you know, when Nicky Rudd was growing up, I just... Uh, you know, I know was I know he was different than other people, <laughs> and the older he got, I think, think uh, the more the more he recognized, um, you know, the value he brought to the to the world. So, it just happened organically. What benefits would you say it provides for you? Well, it's easier to describe Nicky Rod's day when I talk when I talked about his day through his perspective, through you know, because it's like. Nicky Rod just goes through, goes on, goes along throughout his day, but it, it's like a, a higher power is is watching him, over him. So you know maybe um, that higher power is the third person, but who knows really? Yeah, very deep. I re- I mean I really here's what I wanted to know as well. I asked Nicky Ryan this. I said Nicky Ryan, run me through your average day, mm-hmm. and there was basically nothing in that day. But I can't imagine you're the same type of guy. So. <clears throat> Oh uh, yeah, so my day is a, a little bit more, a little bit busier than Nikki Ryan's. Right, I, I wake up not early, not late. What time? What time? All right, all right. <laughs> do I lie? Do I tell the truth? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I wake up like let's say nine a.m., nine fifteen, right? Which is obviously later than Craig Jones. <laughs> wake up, right? Do the business, brush my teeth. Um, immediately, I get right to work. I walk my dog, right. Get some sunshine. I walk my dog for maybe like 20 minutes. He's a French bulldog, so 20 minutes is a fucking marathon for him. Um, and then we play fetch for another five minutes. Who has better cardio, first of all, the French bulldog or Nicky Ryan? Oof. Dude, my my Frenchies does good now. I think they're probably constructed in a very similar way. I would say their breathing uh, passage, passages are probably the same length. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean... Uh, that's it. I walk my dog. Um, I'll eat a little bit sometimes. Uh, then I come to practice. A lot of my day is just I just spend thinking about different ways I could um, I could either like intimidate you on the mat <laughs> or uh, or convince you to train. <laughs> that's like a lot of my time is split between those two things. That's a big part of your day is walking around the mats, seeing who you can lure in to roll with. Hey, and usually it's a guy that's too scared to say no, like a, <laughs> a master seven blue belt yeah. woman. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I find that if I ask somebody to roll immediately after a round, they're more enticed to say yes. And if they wait a little, if I wait like thirty seconds, they're like they like want to rest or something. Like I almost, if I catch them off guard, they'll accidentally agree to it. You know what I think you should do? I think you should go up to people that say no and be like, "Hey, can I just ask you a question?" Uh, Put him in a position to start rolling. Yeah, shake his hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be like, oh, well, that's what I do to Damien sometimes. Damn. Yeah, for my ba- my days and you know, I just I'll be on the phone a lot talking to people and shit. I would rather just put it away. Yeah. I like being free. I feel like if I'm looking at my phone, it's uh, it, I'm working, and if I'm not, I'm chilling. Your brother spends a lot of time on his phone. Actually, I scroll through the Instagram. I see any any female. It could be from any country in the world. Mm-hmm. You bet. J Rod has investigated this account. He's definitely like the like the bunch of photos, but he will never talk to a girl. <laughs> he'll like he'll definitely like some pictures, but for J Rod to go talk to girls, very uh, far and few in between. Well, yeah, what does that take? What would that take? Mm, it takes a bit of spontaneous. Like he'll maybe he'll randomly feel um, confident. I, I remember one time he told me he like recently had a a a like a conversation with a girl like in an elevator or something and he walked <laughs> away he was like oh my god i can't believe i did that <laughs> like it's been a, a long time you know long time coming j-rod is so funny man he like reminds me of my grandmother you know what i mean like everything i suggest him to do he's like i can't do that yeah. don't do that don't take drugs don't talk like that he's like you can't laugh at that you know even like uh if you show him like techniques he like won't believe it until like it happens to him a hundred times or something very finicky. Which, which is funny for a guy that loves buggy jokes. Yeah. yeah. Well, dude, oh. he like he, he had to get hit with it yeah. for him to <laughs> master it. <laughs> Renee, Renee Sousa got him. I mean, honestly, the Renee Nikki Ryan match kind of, if he had buggy Nikki, I think I would have laughed. That would have been. Yeah. Would, it would have been quite painful for all of us, but. <laughs> that would have been very painful. Fuck, that would have sucked. <laughs> that would have been 0 so <laughs> 4 that night. Yeah. Nikki yep. Ryan saved us. But that's it. All right. So. You come to training, either you teach the lunch class or you smoke a massive blunt out back. Mm-hmm. 
Sometimes both. both yeah, I just want to say I've seen it. <laughs> Sometimes both. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, so I do some training, right? Uh, like 30 minutes of drilling. We do some some live. And then afterwards, um, I try to do at least one post on social media. And then, you know, I run the jerky, uh, the kind of the jerky business. So I'm always like brainstorming how I can grow that. Um, like right now, I'm working on getting a uh, commercial kitchen. So we're going to be put, putting in uh, three or four uh, dehydrators in there, uh, along with moving our staff from a food truck into this uh, commercial kitchen. Right. And uh, that's kind of where I spend my time brainstorming. I brainstorm about some instructionals as well. And, and then I'll watch some tape. Um, pretty consistently. You watch tape. Nikki J Rod doesn't watch tape. J Rod just started watching tape consistently because I put it on him. You put it on him. <laughs> yep, for sure. Before he was just saying, oh, "I'm just gonna go out there, fuck them up," which I respect that because I spent years doing that, you know. But now I understand the value in uh, watching tape and you know understanding what the enemy is gonna do and you know because it, like it's an art, right? What we do is uh, it's tough, but it's definitely an art. And if if you can find different ways to use other people's techniques to benefit you, why not? 